Now we'll fit the stepper motor mount, the switch is a quarter for the shaft and a small hole for the cable. I've made it a tight fit because I will be using coolant on this machine and I don't want any coolant to sort of drip into the electrics. So just a matter of placing that in there, pulling the cable straight, flush. Now I just need to make sure the cable is going where it's supposed to be. It's all lined up. Let's tighten these up. That's why I put these angle brackets on so you can line up fairly easily and quickly. So there we have it. So there is the stepper mount fitted. Ah oh, yeah, should have put the belt on. That was another reason why when it was the other way around you could slip the belt on. Now I'll have to try to squeeze the belt on in through there. Yeah. And there should be a little. This comes out, and this is the position on there. And there's a the belt. And the stepper motor. as such. So now it's just a matter of fine tuning the stops, mainly the tension, the pressure. So I'll do that, then I'll just fit the cover and I'll have to grind the stepper motor shaft, two flats to fit that and then that can be fitted. But I'll fit the stepper motor later. So that's the, the SX3 CNC X-axis complete. <laughs>